Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Caleb and this is the very first Bash programming tutorial in this tutorial series. We're going to cover all the essentials you need to know to start programming in Bash. Now, I recommend that you use a Linux operating system or a Unix operating system such as Ubuntu or even Mac. You probably can figure out how to do this on Windows as well, which I talked about that in a beginner Linux introduction course, which I have on my channel. So that's a 28 part series. If you need that foundation of Linux commands, that's a resource available to you. That's going to focus more on commands and working with the operating system, where this series is going to focus more on programming and logic. So I am super excited about this series. We're going to start this video by setting up an environment and get our first script running. So whether you're on Ubuntu or another operating system, you should be able to use Visual Studio Code, which is the text editor I'm going to be using for this series. And this is a cross-platform text editor, which makes it pretty convenient. So it's going to work on Mac as well. When you open Visual Studio Code, it's going to look something like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to open a file or folder and I created a folder dedicated to this series. So go ahead and open that. And th well, you'll probably have to make it, of course. Do you trust the authors of the files in this folder? Hmm, I don't know, I guess. So here is where we can put all of our bash scripts. So obviously we're just gonna start with a new file and you're gonna start it by saying pound exclamation mark forward slash bin slash bash. And this is going to tell the computer what shell you want to use. So there are actually numerous shells out there. So you will often see sh, zsh, or bash. We're going to be using bash in this video. So by putting that at the top of the file, we make sure everybody is on the same page. Now you often hear these two characters known as a shebang, which is short for bash. So the sh and bash. And then bang is another name for the exclamation mark or you can also think of it as the sh in sharp. So that's just an important piece of information, but we're going to want to have this just like this. Now when we save the file, you can name it whatever you want, we'll just call it intro and hit save. That'll show up in our files over here, which we can minimize with that button. So now we can work in our code right here. So let's make a very simple program. We'll just put something very inspirational here. Echo subscribe. And we can hit the play button here and you can see we get the output right there. Now, if you're working in the terminal and you want to know how to execute the file, you're just going to say dot slash and then the name of the file intro. Now, by default, the permissions are going to be limited so that you can't execute a file as a script. So you can see this with ls dash l and then the name of the file intro. And that's going to give the permissions. So this hyphen here, this dash is where the execute permission would go. So if you want to add that, you can say chmod plus x and then the name of the file intro. And now when we issue the ls command, you can see we now have the execute permission on here as well. So we should be able to say dot slash intro and it'll execute. That's really all for episode number one. Obviously we didn't do a ton, but we did get an environment set up and we talked about the absolute basics. In the next video, we're gonna get a little bit more into it and learn some more details. Thank you for watching. Be sure to stick with it through the rest of this series. I don't think you'll regret it. Drop any comments in the comment section below talking about your progress. I enjoy to see comments like that. Thank you, I'll see you in the next one.